Today, I want to take and talk about focus. And I'm not talking about the kind of focus uh, in the context of you know, where do you look, but I want to talk about focus in the context of what do you think about? You know, where do you, where do you pay attention? What do you pay attention to? You know, there's all kinds of things that go on every day in every one of our lives. And we, to a greater or lesser extent, are paying attention to any one of those things or a multitude of things that, that go by. And where we focus, what we pay attention to can have a huge impact on our lives. So, you know, as an example, you know, are you focused on, do you focus on and think about things such as a, a walk in the park? You know, a, a one that you really enjoyed, or how about holding hands? That's something that Colette and I really enjoy doing when we're walking, is holding each other's hands. How about sinking a great basket? You know, do you, do you focus on that? Do you focus on sinking that great basket? I know you were focused on it when you did it, but do you think about it? Do you focus on that later, the next day, two days later, a week later, when you're telling your buddies about what a great time you had shooting baskets? Or what about a compliment that somebody gave you? Do you focus on that? Do you pay attention to that compliment that that person gave you and think about that? Or how about that person that lets you in on the traffic? You know, yeah, everything was backed up and all of a sudden there you are. Somebody just lets you glide right in there. And what about the hundreds of other nice things that actually happened to you in the last little while, week or month? Or do you focus on some of these things? Do you focus on that person that cut you off in traffic? You know, they went speeding through. Maybe they had uh, a license plate that really lit you up and uh, you, know, you paid attention because it was different than the license plate in the province or the state that you live in. And you were upset about that. Or what about the baskets that you missed? Instead of that one that you sunk, what about all those baskets that you missed in practicing to be able to sink the basket that you sunk? What about criticism? What about criticism that you maybe got from an acquaintance or some criticism that you got from work that didn't make you feel good. Well, if you're like an awful lot of people, if you're like most people, the truth is you'll be focusing on the things you didn't like. You'll be focusing on that little criticism. You'll be focusing on that, that, um, that person that cut you off in the traffic. You'll be focusing on all of the things that really didn't make you feel good. And in fact, Perhaps, in the beginning, less of that happened than the good things that happened in your life. But as I said, like most people, perhaps you're focusing on the things that you don't like, the things that made you unhappy. So we've got some good things that happen to us all the time. We've got some things that are, make us happy all the time. Conversely, we've got things that make us unhappy. We've got things that make us angry. And my experience has been that it's so, so, so easy for us to focus on the things we don't like, the things that upset us, the things that make us unhappy. And that's really a challenge because a great coach of mine, somebody that I really look up to, you know, he's told me this four little lines and they are so true, they are so true. What you focus on, you find. What you focus on grows. What you focus on seems real and what you focus on, you become. And you really want to take and think about that. What you focus on, you become. So if you're spending your time thinking about those things that make you unhappy, as much as that might be true, if you're spending your time thinking about that, guess what? You're gonna feel unhappy because that's where you're focused on. If you're focused on the person that cut you off in traffic, you're probably gonna feel like you got cut off in traffic a lot this week, a lot this month. If you're focused on the criticisms, you're probably getting sensitive to that. And guess what? You're gonna feel like you're getting more criticisms. In fact, you might not be, but you're gonna feel like you are. So the real trick in being happy, a great first step in living a life where you're happy and you're feeling good about what you're doing and who you are is paying attention to where you focus because it's a choice we all have. What we focus on is really stories that we create in our heads. That criticism, the person that cuts you off in traffic, we never know what's going on in somebody else's life. 
We never know why they react the way they react. All we can know is how we react, and we don't want to. We want to respond rather than react. We want to let something settle. We want to respond. We want to take responsibility for how we take those things in. And we want to remember that because we don't know what's going on in anybody else's life, that anything that we attach is a story that we're running in our head. And the thing is, is that you get to pick the story. So are you writing stories about things that make you unhappy when you have a choice? to write stories about things that make you happy because happy things are happening to you too. It doesn't matter who we are or where we are. There are always good things happening in our life. And if we start focusing on those good things, if we start writing those stories in our head, we start telling ourselves those happy stories, those feel good stories, guess what? That's what we become. We become happy. We become feeling good in life. And if we don't, and we're running stories in our head about being angry and about being unhappy, which is such an easy thing for us to do, guess what? That's what we become also, and we will find more of those experiences. So, true story. You get to pick the stories that you run in your head. You get to decide what story you're writing. You get to decide whether it's time to close that chapter and open a new chapter and start writing a new story for yourself. I've made that choice some time ago and I constantly need to be reminded by the people around me to take and make sure that I'm writing the stories that I want, that I'm writing the stories in my head that make me feel good, that take me where I wanna go. And I just wanna add that nothing, nothing has any meaning other than the meaning that you attach to it. Because you never know what's going on in someone else's life. All you can know is what's going on in your life. All you can know for certainty is how you feel. And you wanna take charge of how you feel because it's a story you get to write. And I really hope you let that sink in and think about that because you have a choice to make. You're the author of your own life. You can write your own story run those scripts in your mind, tell yourself over and over again, you know, just the happy things that happen to you on a daily basis and don't run the stories about things that make you unhappy. Because what you focus on, you find. What you focus on grows. What you focus on seems real. And what you focus on, you become. And I want you to become happy. I want you to become a person that feels good, that writes their own life script and lives into it on a daily basis. I know that I've offered value and I look forward to talking to you again. Good night.